Right now at five, the latest on inflation. It's hit many people the most, really at the grocery store. As prices go up, some have been turning to farmers markets to get their shelves stocked. Channel 3 Waterbury Bureau Chief Dennis Valera is joining us live right now. He's in the capital city with more on what folks are looking for. Hi, Dennis. Hey Mark, yeah, during the market here earlier, we caught some shoppers, a lot of them telling us they come to farmers markets here, elsewhere, because they feel like they're getting more of their money being used and going a little further when buying groceries here at farmers markets. Now, farmers also saying that they're doing their best to keep their prices down as they too deal with inflation and rising costs everywhere. Just fertilizer, everything, seeds. It's a long list of costs that have gone up at Beckett Farms, but Jennifer Norris, who helps bring the farm's produce to four different farmer's markets a week, says they're still managing to break even. Just gas alone isn't what it was last year, and you know, the help, you gotta pay them more, and um, but we still try to give the best product for the best price you can get. Beckett Farms was one of the few vendors at the Old State House Farmer's Market today. We saw several come through, fill up some bags of produce, then go on with their day. One of them, Dan Harton, made a big haul. I find actually that uh, the food is, is cheaper here than the supermarket, really. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we really enjoy it. The quality is better. I think the prices are better and that we like contributing money to the community. So it's a win-win on all fronts. According to the U.S. Bureau of Economic Analysis, food prices went up 1% last month, helping the personal consumption expenditures index go up nearly 7% in June compared to last year. The PCE tracks the prices people pay for goods and services. Beckett Farms hopes to continue being a cheaper option for folks, even amid rising costs. It's a vicious circle, Absolutely. you know, but we're just trying to do right by the communities. Later at 6, we'll hear more on the impacts of inflation on the car industry. We did speak with an economist earlier. He tells us what he thinks the impact is, especially by the latest interest rate hikes by the Fed. Live here in Hartford, Dennis Valera, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.